to create my pivot table based on this set of data, I make sure that my cursor is within one cell in that block of data and from the ribbon, click on insert pivot table. I need to specify where the data is coming from and Excel has actually done that for me. It's selected the block that surrounds the cell my cursor was in. If that was wrong, I can just edit the range field. But in this case, that's correct. I need to specify where the pivot table is going to be stored. And I can either put the pivot table onto a new worksheet and the new worksheet will appear to the left of the sales data sheet, or I can place the pivot table on an existing worksheet. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'll click on existing worksheet, click in location, and in this case, click on the sheet called row headings and click on A1 because that's where I want my pivot table to begin. And then click on OK. The pivot table fields panel appears on the right hand side and it's got a list of all the headings from the original data. And then it's got four sections, filters, columns, rows and values. And you literally drag and drop fields from the fields list into those four boxes as appropriate. You don't have to put something into each one of those boxes. So in this case, let's imagine I want a pivot table that has a list of all the colors going down column A. I drag the color column down into the rows section and I drag it to the rows section because I want one color per row. If I change my mind because I don't want color or I've dragged the wrong column in, then drag color away from the row section back into the fields list. I'm going to drag store into the row section and I get a list of all the stores. Now for each store, I want to know the total revenue. So in other words, if I go back to sales data, I want it to look through the price column and I want it to tell me the total revenue for California, the total revenue for New York and so on. To do that, I need to drag price into the values section. And when I let go, I've now got the total revenue for California, total revenue for Georgia and so on. 